legitimately a receiver. A receiver. Like a blocking Who has in to block. a blocking in line receiver, pretty much at this point. And now that's the they get paid better. They get paid better than running backs do. Damn, if yeah, I'm that's Jimmy, true. If I'm Jimmy Graham, I'm stabbing someone. Well, Jimmy Graham doesn't block. These two guys that got paid block. Kelsey that's will true. try to block. Kelsey, but Kelsey also gets hurt. Does yeah, but, but he more, also had three one thousand yard receiving seasons. But then mm-hmm. again, Jimmy Graham had sixteen touchdown catches. And who else are they throwing to in San Francisco? Uh, Crabtree. And then who's throwing the ball compared? Alex Smith. I ain't going to slander Alex Smith, though. Man broke his leg and came back. I mean, Jimmy G, I mean, he, he's supposed to be the hype there. And, you know, you know, it, it, the only person he was throwing it to was Kittles. I mean, they had the other receivers getting some, but is mainly, okay, is he open? No. Is he open now? No. No. Okay, maybe I got to throw it to somebody else now. Slants, fly sweeps, Kittle is the guy. Yeah. And I'm just mad at the Raiders passed on George Kittle, like twice. <laughs> and Kelsey. They actually passed on Travis Kelsey in the draft. Well, he was questionable coming out of the draft, too. He was like yeah, a third-round pick. Character. Did- third-round pick. For this issue of touchdown or turnover, we start in Buffalo. So, shout out to Griselda. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> that was the most polite <laughs> shout out <laughs> to a, a no rap key cloud chasing, but It really I'm is. Good. It really was. You can't name not one Benny the Butcher song. The Bills signed left tackle Deion Dawkins to a contract extension. The blindside protector got a four-year deal worth thirty million and thirty-four million guaranteed. Is that a touchdown or a turnover for Buffalo? That's a touchdown. They, I mean, first they had Cordy Glenn, and they ended up getting Dawkins. Remember, who could have been a guard or a tackle? Yeah, we were we we like didn't know what to expect from that, but you know, it worked, worked out. out. Yeah, did. And it's kind of just like you know, Buffalo knows how to get good offensive linemen. They do. Also in Buffalo, the Bills signed head coach Sean McDermott to a multi-year contract extension. I believe I saw somewhere that it was like for six years. So is that a touchdown or a turnover for Buffalo? That's a touchdown. He's made them more relevant in the past, what, four years? In our entire lifetime? (laughs) And never forget that a black quarterback led them to the playoffs. I don't want people in Buffalo to ever forget that shit. Racist assholes. Uh, next up, well, hopefully he doesn't get traded to Tennessee. But yeah, <laughs> we, I got another thing. Like, why are everybody's really like saucing up Herbert? Like, people just don't want Tyrod Taylor, and it's disrespectful. You sauced up Herbert, yeah, because he's nice and he's the future. <laughs> but like, they I saw like a, a post from the Chargers on IG. They're like. Nobody quite hits the nobody hits the back of the net like Herbert. I was like, damn. Hard knocks. He looked good. I mean, they're not doing really much contact yeah. or anything, but he looked good in hard knocks. Just but it's saying. like, damn. That's like if your girl says like about you, like, like yeah. Nobody hits my nobody makes me hit the high note or my uvula like my like he does. Wow. Like who says shit like that? Oh, wow. You went there. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to WAP. <laughs> if you never drowned in some WAP. And then been okay with drowning in it? Then have you ever actually lived? Okay, Kodak. <laughs> um, Don't e- ever call me Kodak. EA I got Sports on my teeth, bitch. 2021 introduces a backyard mode. Is that a touchdown or a turnover for Madden? The, the uniforms look like trash. They need to just bring back the Sugar Buzz or NFL Europe and make that a game mode to where like you got to um, create a player and they go to NFL Europe and... And if your team wins the championship, you might get drafted, and then you, like, automatically become a starter on the team. I don't know. Some cool shit like that. That'd be dope. Uh, They'll probably steal that idea. I'm going to say it's a turnover <clears throat> just because. Why are they? How come they're shaking they in their can't boots. catch passes? I'm tired of this. <laughs> they're shaking in their boots. 2K, as we've talked about before. 2K going to cook that shit. Got green-lighted for a simulation-style game. A lot of people think it's going to be like a uh, NFL Street or NFL Blitz. Well, EA is trying to get the jump, introducing this backyard football. And also, I think because of the threat that football might not happen, it's easy to introduce a game that's, you know, somewhat a little bit more evergreen, a little bit more fun, a little bit different to keep, you know, both youth and casual football fans engaged. 
Especially if, you know, grassroots football isn't happening. Bro, if Pop they, Warner, if they bring school. back NFL Street and refine it to where it doesn't look as goofy, it's a wrap for Madden. Yeah. If they just apply, like, some of the stuff that works for Madden and NCAA and put it on NFL Street, shit. And actually have good speed and, like, attribute ratings that you can manipulate and play with. And, like, different designs and graphics and, like, a Legends roster. You can bring back, like, a Ricky Williams or, you know, like, whoever. Like, a War Moon, whoever. Like, if they could find a way to do that, oh, it's done. Because Fortnite already um, got kicked off, what, Apple? So, yeah, they lowered the V, they lowered the V-Bucks for it and they just kicked them off Apple. But if you factor that in with video games and gambling and esports, like people would be on Twitch blowing up with that new NFL Street game. There's probably if there's people playing NCAA get, fourteen, there might be people playing Street on we, fucking t- we Twitch. We might just too. have to get on Twitch, bro. We might just have to just go straight to Twitch. That's where I'm all the money that. that's where all the money's at anyway. Alright. Next up, the Miami Dolphins plan to honor Don Shula in the upcoming season with the 347 patch. That is the number of wins that Shula has in his career. Is that a touchdown or a turnover? It's a fucking turnover because... <laughs> I mean, if all I did was... A, lose they're either not going to play or B, probably get another top 10 pick. I'm just... They already have another top 10 pick. All I'm saying is, if all you do is lose... And all you can do is do performative stunts, and you have no history of. Actually, no, you have a history of winning, but it's long behind you. Unlike the Clippers, who really don't have a history of winning. Wow. Okay. Um, Dig. Just snuck that yeah. in. <laughs> I didn't sneak it in. I walked right through the front door. It was open, sir. Uh, put my feet right up on your couch and said, "Fuck it." Fuck your couch. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> not that much different than... The Dolphins actually won Super Bowls. The, the Clippers have never won anything. No, I was saying about the Lakers who, you know, went like on a 10-year playoff drought and <laughs> didn't ever act like it. Because it didn't <laughs> Exactly. It's like that one time you did drugs like when Marvin's Room came on and you got really emotional in the club. But like 10 years. Or like the first time when Power Trip came but on. Before like after, 10 years. Yeah. And then like if when the rumor Power Trip came out, J. Cole, Miguel. Yeah, okay. I know what Power Trip Yeah, when that song came out, people were in their feelings when that song came out. I'm just going to say that. It was, um, a, it was a dark time for some people. Mixed that with some Marvin's Room and some other things. Yeah. The Raiders made some moves across the defensive line. They signed a former first-rounder from Jacksonville. Um, Dante, what's his last name? Fowler. Not Fowler Jr. I, don't, who? I forgot what his name is. But they also announced that they're going to be moving um, Colin Farrell to inside more this year, which is something that I said on this exact show not too long ago. So, is that a touchdown or a turnover? (laughs) I think he's saying touchdown. (laughs) Trash. You take a guy fourth overall who's supposed to be a proven edge rusher. The Tony Jones. Dayton Jones? Yeah, Dayton Jones. Who played for the Packers and was like the third overall pick out of UCLA. Didn't really amount to much. I had high hopes for him. But anyway, so they really couldn't find a position for him. That was mostly what happened to Dayton Jones. But he's actually he's actually a pretty solid pick for the Raiders. Just five years too late. But he whatever. hasn't signed with he hasn't played since twenty eighteen. Yeah, it's about five years too late for Dayton Jones. For the Raiders, five years ago he would have been great. As a D tackle, but whatever. Clellan Farrell gonna play. He got him two seventy five. They're gonna use him the way they use Tyrone Crawford. Okay, that's fine. So the best he'll give you is seven sacks a year. But he was the fourth overall pick. I'm just saying, Martez Sweat had like almost ten sacks, and he runs a four four, and he's like six six two seventy, and was like the twenty sixth overall pick in the draft. And the Raiders could have traded down, probably got two first-round picks from trading that fourth pick, or at least a first and two seconds, and could have got two other players. I I would rather not take someone that high, only to, I'm going to switch your position. You're going to play D-tackle now. The fuck? I'm going to say it's a touchdown. you got to put people where they succeed. As far as Jones. Better have 10 sacks 
or he's a bust in, in two years. As far as Jones, I mean, I don't. I That's haven't, a depth I haven't pick. watched him enough, but yeah, he's a depth pick. I think there's some other guys who could have signed. Like I don't know, Everson Griffin who, who just signed the with the Cowboys for six years. Clay Matthews, because you know you need linebackers who can brush the passer. Which, by the way, the Griffin signing is a total touchdown because considering they kind of All the I don't Smith know and Gregory or. Eh, but they also researched Robert Quinn's last last year, and Griffin could have a similar impact there. Yep. And they actually have solid DeMarcus linebackers. Marcus Lawrence, Everson so, Griffin. If you have linebackers who can eat up a lot of ground, all your pass rushers have to do is get up field, pressure the QB. Who knows? Maybe Dallas might actually finally fucking put it together. They won't. Yeah, they won't. They won't. <laughs> And fuck right. Jerry Jones. He has a bunch of racial karma coming his the way. And he's trying to let people into the stadium this year. Yeah, yeah. no. So he has so much old, rich, white, billionaire karma coming his way. However, that yacht, I want it. <laughs> it's true. The 49ers are without Debo Samuel for an extended period of time. We talked about this. So they are bringing in Tavon Austin, Dante Moncrief, and J.J. Nelson to work out, potentially fill that void. You got a, Is that a touchdown or a turnover? That's a touchdown. One, that's a lot of speed. And two, that's one of the greatest college mixtapes, highlight tapes ever. <laughs> and Tavon Austin, um, who's really just a gadget player, and his best years were really those first three years in St. Louis. Um, eh. He had a couple of punt returns for touchdowns. That's a bust. Reggie ain't a bust. Tavon's definitely a bust, but that's a whole other story. I'm going to say it's a turnover. Moncrief is a good number two, three option. And who was the last person again? J.J. Nelson. J.J. Nelson, didn't he have like a thousand yards receiving one year or two years? Yeah, like it's like Arizona's number four or some shit like that. Yeah, so. And he played for the Raiders too. But yeah, he, he, had, he ended up getting cut like midseason. Yeah, injuries, but I mean. I'm going to say it's a turnover like, only because, like, what's up with Dante Pettis? Like,. They've been trying to get him the fuck out of there since they dropped him. Like, he got dirt on somebody, bro. He went to Washington. But he's still there. And he then got it's dirt like, on somebody. It's like they don't want him to play, but they're don't. But they get not of getting rid of him. So it's like, mm, he's a second-round pick, bro. He's only in his third year. Like, didn't we say that about a couple people on this podcast uh, in years past who like probably got dirt on a coach or an organization, and they haven't? Been cut. The same thing in the NBA. So you're saying he he has a notebook that nobody's ever seen. He got net, well, as Nas said, he got naked pictures of God or something. <laughs> All right, Vance Joseph, former Denver Broncos head coach and Arizona Cardinals he defensive a, coordinator, he got a raw deal as a head coach. Um, said he's trying to find playing time for all three inside linebackers: Isaiah Simmons. Devondre Campbell and Jordan Hicks. He says he has some ideas, but he's keeping them close to the chest. Is that a touchdown or a turnover? It's a touchdown because all three are great coverage guys, mainly Hicks. But Simmons is really an outside linebacker. Yeah, he can play inside, but you. But don't you want him covering covering ground? You'd rather have him rushing the the passer. Yeah, I'd rather have him on the edge. To where he's occupying space or he can hop out in the slot. I don't want him in the middle of the field where pulling guards can get to him. I would want him out in space. And then Jordan Hicks or Devon J. Campbell will find something for y'all to do. I just hope they don't Hassan Reddick him. They probably will because Hassan Reddick is still there. Well, I mean, Buda Baker, they were ready to toss him out and he 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 turned it around. That's what I'm saying. He was one of but the best safeties in the league. Yeah, because they're trying to do that whole Amoeba defense shit, which works if you're only going to have one nose tackle, or you just do the Madden thing and it's the one. Shout out to Dan Williams. Yeah, it's the one five five prow where you just put five linebackers on the field and a bunch of DBs and like. Which, check. by the way, the counter always fucking hits on that formation. Always. Because if those linebackers, if the because it just up. makes it easier for the linemen to get up to that second level. And move those linebackers out the fuck away. And that's the beauty that's of a counterplay. It, yep. Shout out that to That you can't stop on Madden either. But I stopped it every time. Bro, I remember one drive, I literally just kept running counter against you. And then I ended up fumbling on some bullshit. 
Yeah, because I set you up, stupid. Damn. Yeah, okay. By giving me 88 running yards? That was the only rush yard you had. To-